This is a Volkswagen Golf Mark V 2004. Now to remove the stereo unit we need to remove the panel from around the bottom of the sides and the air vents from around the top. To do that we need to first lift up the rubber mat from inside the pocket at the top. Some models will have a small air vent on the top which you would just prise up using your release your trim tool. Inside you will find two T20 screws and it will be the same on the model with the air vents at the top of the dashboard. Once you pop it up there will be one or two screws in the top holding the tray in place. Once they are removed we now need to lift up and remove the tray. So you use your trim tool at the back just to lift it up. You will usually drop the two little clips. They will normally fall off. They just push back into the back of the tray. It's very common for these to fall off. Unfortunately, every now and then they can fall off and fall down the back of the dashboard. So just be gentle if possible. Once that is done, we now need to lift this panel up. Just put your trim tool inside and lift it for a little bit at the front. And you'll lift it up ever so slightly in front. You can now release it from the back. Again, using your trim tool. Then we lift the unit up. And we can now unplug the hazards and the airbag light. So the airbag light is two little, two little triggers that squeeze together. For the hazard, it's again two little pins that squeeze together, but they're at the top and the bottom of the hazard switch. Push those in, you can remove the whole hazard switch unit. You can slide the whole hazard switch unit out. What you will now want to do if you remove the small airbag light by just lifting it upwards from the bottom and using a small trim tool to unclip it. You need to plug this back into the wiring loom. If you turn the ignition on without this piece plugged in, you will throw up a warning light on the dashboard for the airbags and you have to have this reset at a dealer or a garage that has the tools to talk to the computer. Once the top piece is removed, we have two more T20 screws at the top of the dash. Now, lean the panel forward ever so slightly. You can pop your trim tool inside to release all the pressure clips holding the rest of the panel in place. Now there are four screws, T20 also holding the stereo unit in. Now, gently with the stereo, put it forward. Now, the aerial can either be one or two Farquhar connections. If it's the pair, it can either be two single connections like this one or one large connection with two aerials in. They all work the same way. There's a small button to press on the very back end and you slide them off. Be very gentle with them as you can damage the cable here and then have to have that repaired. The power and speaker connection is a simple quad lock, so we squeeze the little button at the bottom of the lever, and then we lever lift upwards, allowing you to slide the cable up.